Hey everybody, today's topic is trimming your rabbit's nails. That is a highly requested video and I think it's pretty intimidating to most new rabbit owners and I admit it's my least favorite rabbit chore. I think I'd rather clean up poop, <laughs> rabbit poop that is, than cut their nails. And I think it's because, you know, rabbits don't like it. They can struggle. It makes us tense, they're stressed out. So hopefully this video will ease your worries a little bit. I'll show you the process that I use to trim my rabbit's nails. And you know, you just gotta have to try it yourself and find a process that works well for you. But let's get started with the tools that you will need before you trim your rabbit's nails. And then I will show you how I trim my rabbit's nails. Hopefully it will help you. Here are the supplies that I recommend having laid out before you start trimming your bunny's nails. Most importantly, I recommend a thin towel or thin blanket to wrap your bunny in, like a little bunny burrito. When I first started raising rabbits, I made this little blanket and it has some hook and loop strips on there. I could secure the bunny in there very easily, but I found that it often took more time to get the bunny all wrapped up in that than it did if I used something like this. So right now I just use this baby receiving blanket. It's waffle weave, it's cotton, but it has a little bit of stretch to it. It's nice and thin so I can get a tight wrap on the bunny, but still maintain a lot of control. So that is what I use and I'll show you how I do that in a minute. And then obviously you will want some sort of nail trimmer. I just use these cheap little cat nail trimmers that you can get at most pet stores, Amazon. Um, I have a link on my website to the ones that I bought. So that's what I use. It's just really easy for me to hold. It's nice and small. They have lots of different kinds, but that seems to work for me. And the next item, it's not a necessity, but it can be very helpful. And I will show you how to use this shortly. This is just a piece of mesh fabric. Actually, I think it was some uh, ribbon that I had. And you can put this on your rabbit's paw and it will help the nails to separate from the fur so that you can see where the quick is inside the nail. Otherwise, uh, some people spray their rabbit's paws with a little bit of water, or you can just use your fingers and push down on the fur. But if, especially if you are trimming your rabbit's nails by yourself, um, a little bit of mesh fabric can be very helpful. Um, and over here, if your bunny has dark nails, I recommend trimming the nails either by a window or if there's some sunshine streaming in through a window, but you can use a flashlight to shine in on the dark nails so you can see where the quick is. It will be opaque and the rest of the nail a little bit more transparent. Um, you don't wanna cut too close to the quick or the nail will bleed, which brings us to our next product. This is called Super Clot. It helps to stop the bleeding. <laughs> it says it also numbs pain and disinfects. Knock on wood, I have never had to use this, but if you do cut your rabbit's nails too short, it will bleed a lot, I'm told. <laughs> and some people have found using flour or cornstarch can stop the blood. I know some people put super glue on it after it stopped bleeding, um, but Having a product like Super Clot on hand, as well as some paper towels, might be a good idea, especially if uh, you are a newbie to cutting bunny nails or are a little bit nervous. <laughs> so I always keep it on hand. I might have to use it someday. And then last but not least are treats for your bunny. You want to make the nail trimming process as non-stressful as possible. So you wanna wrap your bunny tightly. You want to end on a high note with a little bit of bribery <laughs> um, with a treat. I have here some parsley and then I like these uh, rolled oats. They are uh, extra thick organic rolled oats. Uh, you can use 
um, the Quaker oats, the old-fashioned oats, you just don't want to use the quick cook oats. Um, so most bunnies like those as treats. The babies, I will give them just a little bit of parsley if they want it, but uh, most all of them like the rolled oats. So those are the supplies I recommend having on hand. I don't think I've forgotten anything. So let's get into trimming some bunny nails. So you get your bunny, place them on your blanket or towel, kind of in the middle. Hold the bunny with one hand, wrap the towel over the bunny. You want it nice and tight, but not too tight. And then roll the other side, just like you're making a burrito. And then pick your bunny up with two hands and then carefully carry them over to a stool or chair that you're going to be sitting in. So this is what I have found works for me is that you gently place the bunny on its back, on your lap, and I know people are going to say you shouldn't put a bunny on its back, but this, when I'm doing this by myself, which is how I usually have to do this, this is the way that I have found works, and I can maintain control of the rabbit and safely trim their nails without hurting them. And I've never had a problem holding the rabbit like this when I trim the nails. Some people hold the rabbit upright like this and trim the nails this way. It's just harder for me with just myself to hold it like this. I have just found this works best. So you have the bunny wrapped tightly and he's not too stressed right now. I give him some pets. This is little Jack Jack. He's about three months old and he's going to have his first whoops, first nail trimming. So the, he's never had this before. Now he will have light colored nails which should make this a little bit easier. If your bunny has dark colored nails you will want to use a flashlight. Like this. Alright, so get my nail trimmers handy and then I'm going to show you what you can do with this mesh if you have some of that. So what I normally do, I normally don't use the mesh, that's something new. So what I normally do is, while well, I have the bunny held tightly, so they're going to have four nails plus the dew claw, the little thumbnail on the front nails. And then the hind legs just have four nails per foot. So, you being a good boy, Jack. So I'm gonna start with his little pinky nail. Doesn't really matter. And you just want to pull the fur back. And I don't know if you can see, probably can't, but I can see the pink quick at the base of the nail. So I don't want to cut near there. So I'm just gonna take my trimmers, kind of cut it at an angle so it's flat when he's standing. And I'm just going to cut the tip off. I could cut more if I wanted, but I don't really want to risk it. And it's pretty blunt and it's not going to scratch me badly. It's okay, little buddy. And sometimes they get a little nervous. But now, let's try this with the mesh. If I put the mesh right there on his nail, see how easily the nails poke through there? I don't know if you can tell that. I can easily see the nails. Let's see if we can go in a little bit closer. I guess you can. You can see those nails come through there. So this makes it a little bit easier. We can get the fur back. And I think I can do, let's see, one, two. It's much quicker with that. Whoops. <laughs> and sometimes they'll kick. They just get a little bit scared. Just give them pets. Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. I need to get your thumbnail, buddy. So we'll do this without the mesh. I can easily see where the quick is. I'm not going to trim near that. And then his dew claw, his little thumbnail, is over there. Good boy. Good boy. Now I only have your other paw, buddy. <laughs> no, I need the paw. I need the paw. So the dew claw, 
This one, I think, I think the dew claw is the toughest to get. It's okay, buddy. And he's just not sure what this is. When you have an older bunny that's had its nails trimmed, it knows a little bit more what's going on, isn't it stressed? Okay. Now, if your bunny is really freaking out, <laughs> getting pretty scared, you can take the top of this towel or another one and just kind of cover their eyes. Sometimes some bunnies, that really calms them down, just if they can't see what's going on. He was doing okay though, so we'll leave his little eyes out there. So again, just looking at each nail, trimming the white part or the colored part if your bunny has dark nails. If you are trimming the nails by yourself and your rabbit does have dark nails and it's too hard to hold the flashlight, again, just trim the tip off. After you do this several times, you'll kind of know how short they should be. And then you can just trim the tip off. But it is much easier when your bunny has light nails. And again, the mesh, just set it over the foot, just gently press up, and the nails will poke out and the fur is held back. So that is kind of handy. It does make it a little bit more difficult when you're by yourself. And now when I have the bunny like this, I usually go ahead and just do a quick health check. I check the ears, make sure I don't see any bumps that could indicate ear mites your canker. And I check the eyes. I don't see any cloudy spots. I don't see any discharge. Same with the nose. The nose looks clean, nice and dry. And then I check the teeth. I'm looking for malocclusion, which is when the bottom teeth go over the top teeth. You don't want that. <laughs> but here, see how his top teeth Hopefully you can see that. Go over the bottom teeth. That is what you want. Their teeth are constantly growing. Whoops. <laughs> um, so you want to make sure the top teeth go over the bottom teeth or the bunny will probably have to have its teeth trimmed for the rest of its life, which is no fun. So now we need to do the back feet, the hind legs. And what I usually do is just gently let the towel or blanket go up over their face just tends to be calming to them. And then you want to find the little feet. And sometimes you'll get some poo balls. Let's see if we can get that back foot. So here we have the back foot. And there will be four back here. And I find that usually these are a little bit shorter nails than the front paws. Um, my bunnies play outside and the babies are on a concrete porch when they play, so that kind of dulls these nails. It always scares me when they jump. That's why I think trimming nails is not something I really like to do, because I know the bunny is a little bit tense, and then I feed off of that tense feeling, and it gets me stressed. Sweaty armpits. Okay, so Let's try this with the mesh. It's hard to look and see what the camera is seeing Well, I'm trying to do this. So let's see if these back nails, I don't even think they'll go through there. They won't. I would need a wider mesh if I'm going to use that. I just find it's easier to do this with my fingers. Just part the fur. Just want to kind of trim it on an angle here. You have a nice flat bottom. And I'm not taking off a whole lot on these back paws. There's not a whole lot of room until I get to the quick. It's ironic it's called the quick because trimming nails is anything but quick. Now some rabbit breeders can trim nails super quickly I don't know, not me. So then again, another health check. 
Well, the bunny's here and is at your mercy. I do a vent check. And this is, I don't know if we can see here. Now his scent glands are down here. I could clean them with a damp Q-tip, but there isn't much to clean in there. It'll look like uh, kind of like a yellowish earwax and it'll be kind of smelly. I think it smells like salt and vinegar potato chips. But if your buck is smelly, this is where to clean their scent glands down here. Again, another way you can hold the bunny for nail trimming is to cradle it like this. I just find that when I'm by myself trimming nails that it's just a bit more cumbersome and it actually takes me longer. So it is just my personal preference that I lay the bunny on its back briefly and it's not overly stressed. I mean, this guy does not look pretty stressed out, does he? He's pretty mellow and chill. If you have somebody who can hold the bunny like this for you and then you can trim the nails, that is probably the best situation. But if you're by yourself like I am, you know, just try a couple different ways. Try holding it in the cradle or on the back and see which way you and your bunny um, find most comfortable. And again, while you have your bunny like this, it's a good time to do a quick checkup of the ears and the nose and the eyes and the teeth and the vent, just to make sure your bunny overall looks good, is happy and healthy. Here, you want to taste the parsley? Oh, what do you think? <laughs> he likes it. So end with some soothing pets on your lap so that your bunny does not associate you with a stressful process. This is one content bunny. If you watch his teeth, he's chomping every now and then. And that's like bunny purring. And I can see from the fur flying around that he is molting his baby coat. Baby bunnies usually molt three times their first year. And his baby coat is coming off. I need to go brush him. So if you end your nail trimming session with some snuggles like this and a little treat. They won't associate it with a negative connotation. He's a good boy. And the more you trim your bunny's nails, the more they'll know what to expect and they hopefully should relax. This guy was pretty good for his first time. Most of my seniors are about this good. I have a couple who really definitely hate it, um, but most of them are pretty mellow. And they know I'm not gonna hurt them and they tolerate it. This guy looks like he's gonna fall asleep. I hear him chomping his teeth. I hope you've learned something today. If you have any tips for what works well for you when you're trimming your bunny snails, feel free to comment below. And if you have any questions, post those too and I will try to get to them. This is making me ready for a nap. <laughs> Thanks for watching.